हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ओल्ड डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस इन दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक एन इंटरनल सर्वर एरर यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस एंड हाउ टू गेट एन इंटरनल सर्वर एरर यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस इन दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल एंड यू विल बी लर्निंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो बिकॉज़ आई विल बी टेलिंग हाउ टू जस्ट गेट एन इंटरनल सर्वर एरर एंड हाउ टू गेट एन एरर यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जेस एंड It, this video will be really helpful. So remember to see this video from start to end, so you can learn one to one thing about this video. And if this video is really helpful for you, so please hit a like to this video. If you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends and family members, so they can learn about these amazing things and skills which we are doing with Next Year. And I hope you'll be understanding this video also because this video will be giving you too much help which you needed to work with Next Year. And I hope you'll be understanding many things about this video, and this video will be really helpful for you. So. Remember to see this start from start to end, so you can learn things from this video. So I hope you understand that all things. And now we'll be starting with our next year's project and our video. So uh, like I'm telling you, we will be just building an amazing project using next year's. And you can see the this is my channel, I B Old Design Developer, and this is containing all the videos. You can check that out here on my channel because this video will be giving you too much help if you are working with next year's. and if you want to work with next year because these videos are really helpful and i hope you will be understanding many things from this video so remember to see this all video from start to end because these videos are really helpful and i hope and i am sure about that these all video will be giving you help when you are working with next year and when you want to know the things related to next year because i tell in every one tag related to next year and i have just or i have tell in about next year totally amazingly and i hope you'll be enjoying these all videos and today video will be really special for you and it will be also really helpful and today we will be building an amazing project using next year and this video will be really helpful so remember to see this video also from start to end and this on my channel you can see and you can just check the things on my channel like previous videos which i have uploaded because that all videos will be giving you help So I hope you understand these all things which I have tell in about my channel and now we'll be starting with our video. So here I'll be moving to my desktop. Then I will be just opening my VS Code text editor. Now when you open your VS Code text editor, just I will be closing previous window here. Now it is totally empty. So here I'll be creating one folder in my command prompt. So here my folder name should be Project Six. So here I will be now creating npx create. Then I will be selecting local disk S because here I have to create my folder. Then I'll be writing npx create next step. Here I'll be writing project dash six, and I'll be pressing enter. So it will be creating my folder, and I want to check that my folder is being creating or not. So here I'll be moving to my folder. Then if I just show you here in my local disk app, so you can see uh, there is project seven. So here I will be now creating the folder with the name of project seven. So here I'll be writing npx create next step. Then I'll be writing project dash seven. Now when I'll be pressing enter, you can see my project seven uh, is our folder name which we are creating, and this is our folder. So here I'll be dragging, dropping this folder into my VS Code text editor. Now you have to write these things which I'm telling you. Like you have to now, uh, you have to just write this component one in your header or JS file. You have to create one components folder here. Then you have to work with an Excel in the previous video also how to do that. Now we have to run these things. So here I'll be moving to terminal. Then I will be running this command. So you can just run this command here by writing like npx, or uh, you can just run it uh, just simply like you run. So here, uh, when you are just done that, just uh, you can write here npm run dev. So here, uh, simply you have to move into here, and then you have to write npm run dev. This is the command to run our next JS app or uh, like thing which we are creating using next JS. Now it will be taking some time, and it will be running your Uh, app. You can see it is now running my and it has started the server on localhost 3000. And I will be opening my default browser which is Opera and I will be seeing my file is created or not. So here, I, if I open my localhost, you can see now my localhost has been opened and you can see now this is giving the error because we have just solved some of the things here. And now you can see this was the thing which I want to show you and I will be doing it side by side because I want this side should be small because when we just build that thing. Means when we'll be building it, so we'll be seeing it by doing it full screen. Now you can see here these all things has been just coming. So here it is giving error. So here the error is coming because now we have just uh, written the things wrong and we have to set this error so we can just uh, see all the things or we can just check all the things which we are getting. And if I move to footer or JS, you can see all the things are here and then we are getting the title here and header footer. So here simply you have to do one thing now. 
लाइक यू कैन सी इफ आई मूव टू माई इंडेक्स डॉट जे एस फाइल सो हेयर वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड दिस मॉड्यूल डॉट जे एस फाइल एंड हेयर वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड लाइक यू कैन सी द टाइटल सो हेयर वी हैव इम्पोर्ट दिस टाइटल थिंग्स एंड नाउ सिंपली हैव टू डू वन थिंग हेयर यू हैव टू इरेज दिस मीन्स डू नॉट इरेज दिस इरेज क्लास नेम फ्रॉम हेयर विच इज रिटर्न हेयर बिकॉज नाउ वी डोंट नीड दिस इफ आई सेव दिस फाइल सो यू कैन सी नाउ वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग दिस क्लास नेम हेयर सो हेयर आई विल बी नॉट डूइंग वन थिंग हेयर आई विल बी नॉट सेविंग दिस फाइल हेयर and now you can see now we are just getting this so when you are just done with that and you can see this is also imported at the top now you have to move to layout.js to see uh, like if i move to header now you have to move here then erase this import module says save this you can see now we are getting all three things here like we want now you can set these all three things so means when you will be doing means when you will be working with that so you should not get any error you can see now we are not getting any error and we have solved the error which we were getting now i'll be moving to header.js file here then you can erase this h1 and you can write any other thing here like we will be using some of the other tag like uh, previously we have used yeah, router tag like i'm telling you how to use that so we will be using this router then you have to define the path here so here i will be now writing path now when you define the path then you can just write the path name so here if i write this path and then you can just write your path name here which should be uh, like error like this now when you done with this just if i save this file now you can see we are just getting one error like in router you can not write the path here so now if i just write in the router tag like if i write h1 and in this h1 if i use header tag so here uh, so now i'll be making this tag then you can use a header tag here and you can see now we are using header tag and in this header tag we will be writing uh, like anything you can write components like this now when you return save this and now if i reload so you can see the router tag is giving error because now we have not imported the router at the top so this is important we should import the router you can see components is here now if you want to make a table or anything here so here you can just move down to create a table or anything like that so you can just write a tag which will be like table so here you can just write this tag Table. Then when you move down, just you have to write a tr, or you can say td. And in this, I'll be writing uh, td. So here you have to move. Then you have to write. Then you can write home. Save. Uh, make this, and you can see now we are getting this. If I copy this, paste it, and here you can just write three things here, like uh, about. Then you can write here any other thing like service. Save this. You can see we are getting three things here. Now when you are just getting these three things, you can see we are getting Uh, in line you can see but in one line we are getting three things here now you can put the border here so you can just write table border is equals to then you can just write the border 2 you can see now we are getting two border if you want one or 1.5 so you can just set it here like this so now you can see now my border has been set now you can just set these things here like if i move down then you can just uh, set th here so here if i write th then you can write home here also save this you can see now down also we are getting the same things here so like this you can just set that all so here if i just move and save this file uh, copy this means then if i just paste you can see now we are getting this and you can just write here one and then when you written this here just here you have to save and you can see you, there is one written then here you can write home and then here you can just write uh, like about now when you written this save this you can see we are getting these things simply i will be copying this and now when you have copy this you can paste these things here so here i will be now moving down so when you have moved down paste it here here also now change this one to two change this uh, three save this now you can see we are getting two three like this so now like this you can just set these all thing at the side so this was the thing which i want to show you and like this you can set so here if i move down then if i set a td tag here so here if i set the td tag and then if i move down and write th tag here so paste that all save this now you can see we are getting these things here so you can just use a td tag here to just work with this so this was the thing which i want to show you and how to work with this so you can just write tr tag here and then move here and then here tr save this you can see now it is going down so like this here you can set this copy this here then you have to move down simply now save this so here if i just do that thing now copy this tr tag from here 
pasted here now save you can see now we are getting now you can change this one to two then here three save save this by pressing ctrl s here you can now work with this so here if i reload you can see this is showing some error here so here i will be now running my command again means i will be running npm run dev so it can run my next.js app and it can just show me the things which i am doing like what the changes and what the things i am adding in my server or we can say in my app which we are building using next.js and you can see now this is running in my localhost so here i'll be writing localhost 8000 and it is just showing my internal server error so here now uh, you can see this is the thing which i want to show you and now here when you are just getting this thing just remember to do one thing here uh, like you have to just close this then you have to open opera browser again if this error comes then you have to write localhost and now here i will be doing one thing i'll be closing this and then move to terminal and here i will be now just doing one thing i'll be moving to my powershell here then i'll be writing npm run there then you have to press enter and remember when in your you are in your project then you have to press this thing so it can run it uh, more goodly now you have to press simply from here you can directly create it from here or you can just open uh, your opera browser and you can see it is running in localhost uh, 3002 so if i run this you can see it will be taking some time and it will be running it in my localhost 3002 so here if i do it side by side so you can see now uh, we are getting this thing and it is looking good so now when you are just getting this thing if i just show you here so here you can see this thing is uh, was the thing which i want to show you here and i hope you understand how to just get an internal server error using uh, next.js and you can see like this you can just get an internal server error and like this you can create some of the table things here so this was the thing which i want to show you how to just put an internal server error and the, the server error we are just getting because we are just writing the table things too much times and when we are get, writing it too much time so it, will, it is giving an internal server error and this is really important to know how to get an internal server error and I hope you understand how to just uh, use these table tag to get an internal server error using Next.js and I hope you understand this video. If you understand, enjoy this video. So please hit a like to this video. If you are new on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family members so you can learn about these amazing things and skills which we are doing with Next.js. So I hope you understand this video also. So I will be meeting in next video, next project. So for today, good bye.